Good morning, my family and friends. And today is Sunday, June 11th at 8.15 in the morning. And I'm coming to you today from Islands of Adventure. Now, today I'm here, I'm gonna show you the, mo the most recommended rides here at Islands of Adventure. As you can tell, right behind me is Velocicoaster. So, I'm here for early park admission. I'm not gonna do any rides or anything. I'm just gonna show you around. And again, I'm gonna show you the most recommended rides here at Islands of Adventure. So, at this time, I want you guys to come and join me in this fantastic adventure. Let's get started. First recommended ride here at Islands of Adventure. This is Hagrid's. The line starts from all the way over here. There it goes. All the way up this way. Now I'm entering hogs meat. Looks a little bit busy today for the early park admission. Here are the lockers you're gonna need for to put your loose articles inside of the uh, lockers for Hagrid's. Right now the wait time is 120 minutes for early park admission. And that's now in June. Just keep in mind, if you come now during the summertime, the parks will be busy. Just keep that in mind. The next recommended ride, if you have uh, kids that can ride any other ride here at the Wizardy World, will be the Flight of the Hippogriff. Early Park Admission. 10 minute wait. The next recommended ride, which is one of the one of the good rides here at Islands of Adventure. Well, to me, I think it's one of the best ones, besides Velocicoaster, is Forbidden Journey. Forbidden Journey is the other one that also has lockers that you have to put in. The, locker, the lockers are gonna be directly right through the archway right over there. They're gonna have you store your stuff before you get on. Right now, for Forbidden Journey, it's only a 15 minute wait. Just keep in mind, they do have a test seat. If you need to test it before you get on. Here's a better view of Hogwarts Castle. Right across the way is the Velocicoaster. Now, welcome to Jurassic Park. Just keep in mind, over here in Islands of Adventure, they do sell merchandise for the 30th anniversary. Here's the other recommended attraction, the Velocicoaster. Right now, Velocicoaster is at 25 minute wait. They offer express and they have single riders. Just gonna see if I can catch a coaster coming up. That way you can see it.
The entrance is over here, right next to the Jurassic Park Discovery Center. Oh, there it comes. Let me get a, see if I can get a good shot of it. This is the Discovery Center. Over here they sell the merchandise also for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. Same ones that they sell over at the Tribute store. Right over here you got some lockers. This if you have kids that can go on the ride, you can also come down here and come to the Discovery Dinosaurs. Uh, here they can grab that machine and move it along the wall, see what kind of bones they can find. You also have a penny press machine here. They also have a personalized ID badge. And then here, you can actually uh, to grab one of those eggs there and put them on the slide thing there and then you start scanning them there to see what kind of dinosaur uh, you can find. And then over here, you can actually, if you get a chance, if it happens when you're here, you can see a, a baby dinosaur be born. And, and that right over there is a uh, area where you can do uh, trivia for Jurassic Park. These are pretty cool shirts. I haven't seen these at all. These are $27. We also got these signs. $22. Uh, more, this is more like Jurassic World. Merchandise. But this tank top has a uh, 93 on it the year the movie came out. And we got these T Rex zippers for 18 bucks. This is a snap together full coaster model of the Velocicoaster. coaster. It's two hundred dollars. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. There's the uh, snap together model. They're individual. Oh, here they are. Uh, Forty dollars per for each one. That's pretty cool. We got this Velocicoaster coaster shirt for $27. You also have the hats are 26. Got the mugs. This section over here seems like uh, the Velocicoaster coaster um, merchandise. You also have Mr. DNA. summer that bridge there will take you from Hogsmeade all the way to Velocicoaster, coaster or you can cut to Jurassic Park uh, we can cross the other way until 9 o'clock 
You got two raptors. I'm greeting you when you if come you are in. looking to meet a raptor, you can come here to Raptor Encounter where you can meet Blue here at the Raptor Encounter. It actually opens up at 10 o'clock in the morning. Come over here and uh, catch this coaster coming around here to the second launch of the ride. So I can show you guys this so you guys can see what it looks like. Should be coming around here momentarily. Here it comes. That was 70 miles an hour, my friends. This is a little uh, facts about the Velociraptor. It gives you all the statistics. And then like, if, did you know? And then it says you can visit the Raptor, uh, a Raptor at the Raptor encounter. Now here's another ride that I do recommend if it's hot, the Jurassic Park River Adventure. Right now it's not open just yet. This, as you can tell, this is the splash area for when the uh, raft comes down right through there. It drops you, comes down, and it makes a big splash right over here. Like again, if you come to the parks during the summer, um, this is one of the, there's three water rides here in Islands of Adventure. The other two I'm gonna about to show you here in a second. But Jurassic Park River Adventure is a fun, fun, fun experience to go on. Yeah, just comment below um, what is your favorite ride here at Islands of Adventure and just let me know. And if you have any other questions, if you have any questions about any of the attractions here or anything about the park, just feel free to also comment below and just let me know. The next ride that I do recommend to come and experience is Skull Island Reign of Calm. This one will be opening up. It's scheduled to open up around nine o'clock. It's a pretty cool ride though. And the queue is amazing. And now my friends, I'm entering Toon Lagoon. This is where the two popular water rides are here at Islands of Adventure. I'm gonna come around here and I'm gonna show you. And it's funny, right over there, you got little machines that you can put, uh, you can pay to squirt people with. There's the Trenton Down Flyers from Jurassic uh, Park, Camp Jurassic. Ladies and gentlemen, if you really, really want to get soaked, welcome to Ripsaw Falls. And it does exactly that. They do have a human dry, uh, human dryer, so once you get out of Ripsaw Falls and you get soaked, you can come and dry off over there. All right, folks, this is gonna be Popeye and Bluto's Bill Rock Barges. It's a wild, it's a white rapid uh, ride. And then you also have here that you can also pay 
to push those buttons, you actually uh, wet people on the ride. They got three of them. But if you want to be in a hot day and you're feeling hot, you want to get soaked, Popeye and Bluto's barges is the one. This is the new Universal Annual, Annual Pass Holder Lounge that they moved from Universal Studios Florida. They brought it over here to Islands of Adventure. It's open daily from 11 to 4 p.m. This is where you can get all your Universal Orlando Annual Pass Holder uh, merchandise, magnets when they have one for the month. It's located over here where Betty Boo store used to be. Now, here in Marvel Superhero Island, now one of my other recommended attractions here at Islands of Adventure, especially here in Marvel Superhero Island, is The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. Only a 15 minute wait. This is one of the new uh, kiosk carts that they open up. I'm gonna show you the menu. This is what they have to offer. To Islands of Adventure and you want to get a chance to meet one of the Marvel heroes this is the location where you can meet meet Spider-Man it's gonna be right there in the store you go in the line starts there and go right to that door and for the final ride that I recommend it's a must-do here at Islands of Adventure is the Incredible Hulk coaster it's only a 25 minute wait across you got lockers that are mandatory to uh, put your stuff in if you have a non-rider you can always leave it with them and they're free um, while you ride that's for any attraction that has a locker it's uh, all the rides that have uh, lockers they're free to ride my family and friends this concludes my visit here to islands of adventure here at the universal Orlando resort now feel free to comment below and let me know if any of the must-do attractions that you see here in this video feel free to comment below let me know if you've done it before or you love to do it now if you are new to this channel give it a thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell for future uploads and live streams and until next time YouTube don't be a stranger in this upside down world so long.